Hello again, welcome back. One from the Krups sub from the Netherlands, a Dutch beer. Joppen four grain bock. I've left some room for a swirl. So let's have a wee look. Joppen. I had their juicy lager just recently. And this is their four granin book. 6.5% ABV. Let's have a wee look at the colour. Oh. I can see the barest outline of my hand through it. It's an absolutely beautiful ruby red brown chestnut mahogany. I think I may have mentioned this is my favourite colour. Quite a nice head, it's half a pinky, quite moose like, off white head. Let's get a wee swirl on it. Oh, look at that, made of thick, creamy head. It's a classic box smell, that fruitiness and maltiness, like red berry or red, like red fruits, like even plum or uh, like a rich fruit. I'm not getting any coffee or chocolate. Or, I don't know if you're supposed to. At two Celsius on the sub, it's too cold. It's very chill. Was my thing. I think the outside of the glass is nine point one. I think the foam is seven point one. The foam's always a wee bit warmer than the the beer. Anyway, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, my dears. Beautiful. Smooth, easy drinking. 6.5%. That's hidden. It's fruity. I don't know, it's like... It's like apple peel. I don't know if that sounds mental, but it is a bit like a rich, dark red fruit, like a plum or something. Or a prune, even, which is more intense. There is a wee hint of chocolate in there. No a milk chocolate, but like a dark, rich chocolate. Just, just barely present. So there is a wee bit there. And then you're getting a wee bit of bitterness. At the back. Not a great deal. But, it, it stops it from being too sweet. It's not an overly sweet beer. I've actually just recently had, this might not be out yet, this video, the Hertogian Bock beer from that. I've just had that. I'm, I'm still drinking that. I've got a couple of three pints left or something. They are very similar. Very similar. Both from the Netherlands. Can you see the flag? Uh, I don't know if this is maybe a wee bit richer, fruitier, more intense, I don't know. But uh, it's hard to tell. In a blind tasting, I don't think I could tell the difference. But then that's me. There is that sweet maltiness as well. Like, 
bit maybe treacle or licorice or anyway it's a, a lovely beer worth trying if you can find it I don't know what I paid for this let's have a wee look online ok here we go this is from Beer Wolf that's the, for the do the crop sub Yopin 4 Granin Bock 6.5% um, Autumn is coming and we have exactly the beer for the upcoming season This is November The Yopin 4 Grain Bock beer is a bock to enjoy as soon as the leaves fall from the trees again As the flavours of roasted malt Combined beautifully with the tasting notes of red fruit and chocolate. Uh, details. Malt is barley malt, the Netherlands. It's got allergens, because it's not got a list of ingredients, but it's got allergens. It's barley malt, rye, lactose, grain, barley malt, rye, etc. It's got lactose again. I wonder if they mean... That's weird. Uh, taste profile, caramel and honey. Dark and rich, floral and fruity. Yeah, but I think it's all of those things. I might have omitted a few. <laughs> but that's just my lack of, my poor powers of description and identification. <laughs> This is a learning process. For all. I'm not, I know nothing about beer, basically. So this is all, this is all a learning process for me. It's, it's a fun way to learn. Try it if you can find it. It's an absolute beauty. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Doesn't it look... Beautiful. So enticing.